Uh, welcome to Southeast Queensland. So the last video I did was from uh, the Northern Territory to Townsville, the Overlander Highway. Um, and along there, we had a pretty decent experience with the Queensland Electric Superhighway. It's mostly tritium chargers, uh, max out at about 50 kilowatts. Yeah, and on that video, I said that, um, yeah, we really didn't have any um, issues charging along that stretch. Um, but I think I spoke too soon. So in the last few months, we have traveled up and down the uh, Queensland coast. Um, and the charging, while there is a lot more charging infrastructure, it's actually been a bit um, hit and miss along the stretch around Mackay, Proserpine and Carmilla. Um, over the Queensland school holidays, there was um, at least three, probably more tritium charges that were out along that stretch. Um, and we spoke to a number of drivers that were um, complaining about that. Uh, I noticed the one in Mackay, the listing there had said it had been out for you know, a week or so um, and had not been repaired. So that wasn't, wasn't a good look. It didn't really impact us. We were still doing mostly accommodation charging. But yeah, it's um, not ideal for travelers up here in Queensland. The good news though, with tritium going bust, in fact, I guess in the news now is that uh, an Indian company may have bought, bought out the company um, and will maybe resurrect bits of it. But anyway, there is a new player in town uh, called Elu. In fact, they're based in the Gold Coast. Um, and so we visited their uh, new charger in Gympie. I think they've deployed a few of these around, some in New South Wales. Um, yeah, they're quite interesting units. They're pretty chunky and the reason why is because they have a battery uh, built into them, uh, which means that they can be installed in areas where maybe the main supply doesn't support full fast charging. So what the unit can do is draw power when it's not being used from the grid, store it in the battery, and then when we come along um, can plug in and get a fast DC charge. So yeah, these are certainly showing some promise. Did have some issues with the smaller screen. Again, it's pretty hard to read in direct sunlight. So hopefully these are sort of early models and they can uh, improve and evolve on them. The really good news is that Tesla are filling in some gaps. And as most of you know, they do have a very reliable charging network. So I'm here right now in Yandina on the Sunshine Coast. And this charger only opened last week. Uh, so we've got six stalls and we've also got a bunch of destination chargers down the end there. I think uh, even the destination chargers require the app to activate. Um, but yeah, it's good to have some more choice. And even along the stretch um, up towards Cairns in the last few weeks, they opened up a charger in Mackay. And there's a new one that was in, opened in Bowen at the beginning of the year. So it's good to see some fast charging alternatives being uh, deployed up here in Queensland. While in Queensland, we obviously crossed the Tropic of Capricorn for a fourth time. Um, in just outside of Rockhampton. There's actually two locations. One is conveniently at the information center, but it's actually not on the Tropic. There is an older one um, on the old um, Bruce Highway that um, has markers for the Tropic of Capricorn. And as uh, Tesla Bjorn says, um, ABC, always be charging. Uh, see you out there. Cheers.